We will not waver in our commitment to see that justice is done for this terrible act. And make no mistake, justice will be done. Let, let's we also right there. I want you to I want you to understand how what a great speech this is by the president. And it was not about Boston. We dug it up from the archives. It's about Benghazi. Same speech. That's right. You heard me clearly. We will not waver in our commitment to see that justice is done for this terrible act of Benghazi. And, of course, justice has not been done. In fact, the only witnesses either disappeared from Libya or died under mysterious circumstances. So I, I think that we will never find out who uh, <clears throat> conducted the, uh, the Boston Massacre because the government doesn't want you to know who conducted the Boston Massacre. Now, there was a Saudi in the hospital guarded by machine gun armed cops and an attack squad and God knows who else, but he was not a person of interest. It was soon uh, discovered that he was a mere, well, didn't you hear what I said last night? You didn't hear my show? Anything but the person who's under lock and key in the hospital. So look, here's what I think is going to happen. They're going to release this Saudi in the hospital. They're going to wipe their, wash their hands of him and say he had nothing to do with it. He was only an innocent spectator injured like the other uh, people in the crowd <laughs> and that it was a, a, a false uh, lead and he had nothing to do with it. And anyone who said that it was a Saudi or a, an Islamic person is a racist. What can I tell you? You know, they know probably they got leads and they were told by, uh, you know, Axelrod, it's not good for immigration right now. It's not good for the gun grabbing. So uh, let him go. I mean, we'll find some cracker in a few months. We'll put him on LSD and he'll admit it. That's all. Unbelievable. I, I'm kind of brain dead from all of this.